Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to track time using timers. Now Godot makes it really easy to keep track of time or timed events using timers which are a type of node in Godot. So let's take a look at this really basic application that I have. So if I play my application it loads up here. You can see I have a start button, doesn't do anything yet, and I have this sprite that has a frog image texture. So let me exit out of here. Let's look at what I have so far. So I have my main node with a script. The color rectangle is the background. I have my button, which is called a start button. And then I have my sprite. And if you look over here in the inspector panel, you can see I just have a frog picture as the texture for it. So what I want to do is actually add a timer. So I'm going to come over to main and I'm going to add a child node. And if I search on timer, you can see there's actually a node called timer. So I'm going to create that. Now I could rename this to anything I want, but we can just leave it to timer. Now if I come over here and take a look at the settings, there's different things that I can turn on and off and adjust. These are different properties. So for example, I might want my timer to start automatically so I could check auto start. Or I might want my timer to only run one time. If I wanted it to run once instead of repeating, Godot calls that a one-shot timer. I am going to allow this timer to repeat itself. And then importantly, the wait time. And the wait time simply means how long do you want the timer to run? Do you want it to be 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever? And of course, this number here is in seconds. So let's just leave it at 1 for now. So let's go ahead and program this. Now there's a couple of things we need to do. I want this frog to start jumping around the screen every 1 second. And so I'm going to need, and I want that to begin when I click the start button. So the first thing we need to do is add a signal to our start button. I'm going to say pressed, double click it, make sure main is pressed, click connect, good. And I can see here Godot has given me the on start button pressed. Now when I do that, what do I want to have happen? Well, I want timer and I want dollar sign timer to actually start running just like that. Now, what I want to do is I want every time this timer runs, meaning every one second that it goes off, I want something to happen. So what I want to do is add a signal to the timer. So again, come over to node and I want to add the timeout signal to that timer. So I'm going to double click this, make sure I have main selected, and I'm going to connect that signal. And Godot nicely gives me some starter code. And so as soon as I click the start button, the timer is going to begin. And then every time the timer goes off, remember our timer is going to repeat every one second, I want to do something. And what am I going to do? Well, I'm just going to move Frog Sprite around. And I am going to adjust its X position. So I can say random range, let's say between the left and right of the screen. And then I am going to type in that same code again. And I want to change the value. I'm going to get a number. Anyway, let's keep it a little bit less than the full Y value so it doesn't go behind our start button. So that's all there is to it. Let's see if we can get this working. So I'm going to run this and okay by default our timer is not running I am going to click the start button to start the timer and now watch every one second the frog is randomly moving around the stage excellent super easy to do okay let me exit out of this and of course if, if I wanted to change the interval if I wanted him to jump around every two seconds I could do that but the point here is that the timer is firing every two seconds and every time the timer goes off, I'm calling the on timer timeout function. Whatever code I put down here will execute every time the timer goes off. And that, my friends, is how you track time using timers in Godot. 